Boo! Welcome to an Armistand tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to make a diamond flower. This will help you put your diamonds to good use as well as serve as the ultimate, ultimate. display of wealth in addition to serving as a fancy addition to your offices and builds in Minecraft. In this tutorial, I will be providing step-by-step -step instructions so that you can make this Armistand creation easily. Before we proceed with the video, do consider dropping a like and subscribe to support this channel. Also, do consider checking out my Twitch channel where I'm currently running a stream series called Stuck in 1.16 where we, well, just basically build cool stuff. Feel free to ask me questions about armor stands in the Twitch chat, or you can just hang out and chill. And without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. So a few notes before we start this tutorial, this is for Java Edition Minecraft, so for Bedrock people, I'm sorry guys. Also, do make sure that you have the Armor Statue data pack in your single player world, or if you're playing on the server, make sure that the server already has the Armor Statue data pack so that you can post Armor Stands. Also, while not entirely necessary for this tutorial video, I highly recommend having a basic understanding of the Armistan book's controls. You can check out Zombie Cleo's Armistan book tutorial or check out my video where I discuss in depth the controls of the Armistan book. You can also just skim through my video to check out the tips which will be used throughout this tutorial. Okay, let's begin. For this creation, you're going to need, obviously, the Armistan book. You will need seven Armistans. 5 diamonds, 1 golden nugget, 1 stick, a flower pot, and some temporary blocks. For those who are new to this data pack, and if you don't know how to get the armor stand book, this is how you do it. Get a book in Quill, write a few random words inside the book, sign it with statues, with a capital S, and you have the armor stand book. First, place a flower pot on the location where you want your diamond flower to be. Try as much as possible to put it on top of a non full block or a transparent block. This is because armor stands will create shadows when they're inside a full block. I will explain later how it actually looks like and also give you a compromise in case you actually place it on a full block. Next, place down one armor stand on the right hand side of the flower pot facing towards the flower pot. Now, do these four presets for all of the armor stands in this creation. 1. Make sure it shows its arms. 2. Make sure it's a small stand. 3. Make sure there's no gravity. And 4. Make sure the preset is set to attention. Now give this armor stand a stick. And then, we have to raise its arm by 100 degrees. Go into rotation and make sure it's set to 45 first. Then go to pose adjust and look for the X axis and the right arm. Press positive X twice so this will bring up the arm by 90 degrees. Okay, now go back to rotation and set the rotation to either 15 or 5. I will put it to 5 for convenience sake. So all we have to do now is go back to Pose Adjust, look for X and right arm and press positive X twice to bring it up by 10 more degrees. And now the arm is raised by 100 degrees and we have a straight stick. Okay, now we have to move the armor stand from here to the flower pot. So what you have to do is you have to nudge using relative align towards the flower pot by 12 pixels. So to move the armor stand from the right side to the left side, you have to press negative X. So move it by 8 pixels, then 3 pixels, then 1 pixels to total up to 12 pixels. Then, we have to move the armor stand towards me by 3 pixels. In order to do that, we have to press positive Z. We will move it 3 pixels towards me, so positive 3 Z. 
Now we have to move the stick down into the flower pot. Do use F5 mode to check the position of your armor stand to make sure it's in the correct place. So to bring it down to the flower pot, you need to nudge it down by 8 pixels and you would use the Y axis on the top section here. So press on negative 8 Y and the stick will be directly inside of the flower pot. Now if you want to check and verify to make sure that's in the correct position, set the armor stand to invisible and you can jump up on the table or you can use F5 mode to make sure that the stick is right in the middle of the flower pot. Once you have made sure that the position is correct, then go under utilities and lock the first armor stand. Make sure you do this for every single armor stand placement as if you don't lock the armor stand, you can accidentally adjust an armor stand that you've already placed before and mess up your whole creation. Okay, so this is a demonstration of the issues that you will face if you actually do this creation on a full block. The armor stand will actually form a shadow and become black with the same adjustments that we applied earlier. However, there is a way to fix this, a slight compromise as you may. What you can do is you can raise the armor stand by one pixel up and that should solve the issue. So just click on Y positive one to move it up by one pixel and then the shadow should disappear. However, do take note that if you do that, then the stick is slightly outside of the soil in the flower pot. However, that shouldn't be too big of an issue. So just make sure that you do this compromise if you use a full block. All right, so now let's do the petals of the flower. Make sure that when you do this step, you have a temporary block on this side and this side of the flower pot, or at least have something to stand on on these two sides. Then place an armor stand on the back of the flower pot. Then make sure to do the four presets that I mentioned earlier for the previous armor stand. For the purposes of demonstration, I will first demonstrate the positioning of the armor stand right here in front of me. So this is going to require a little bit of math. We are going to put five petals on this flower and they are going to be arranged in a circle. Therefore, this circle has to be divided by five. 360 degrees divided by five is 72. So the angle between each petal must be 72 degrees. Okay, so now let's work on the first petal. We will start with the petal on the bottom right and work our way counterclockwise. For every single petal adjustment, you want to have the armor stand show you the diamond by raising its arm horizontally by 90 degrees. To do that, make sure that your rotation is set to 45. Then go on the pose adjustments, look for the X axis and the right arm and press positive twice. And there you have it. So from here, the first petal on the bottom right has to go out from this midline by 36 degrees. This is because we have to divide the angle in the middle by 2. So 72 divided by 2 is 36 degrees. So to rotate the arm, 36 degrees counterclockwise, go under pose adjust, go to the z-axis of the right arm and press negative once. So now it's 45 degrees. Then go under rotation and you can choose to do this in several different combinations as long as it reaches to 36 degrees but I'll do it with this combination. So I'm going to click on 5 degrees and since it's 45 degrees in the negative, we'll bring it back by 10 degrees to the positive which will bring it down to 35 degrees. Then we need to make it 36 degrees by adding one more degree to the rotation. So just press negative C once more for one degree and now you have 36 degrees of rotation. Now, after you have done the correct degree of rotation for every single pedal, you have to raise the arm by an additional 5 degrees. And this will make a lot of sense later on when we are making the diamond flower. 
So to do that, go on the rotation, make sure it's set to 5 degrees, go to Pose Adjust, and click on Positive X for the right arm. And there you have it. So now you have to adjust your arm stand into the correct position. So just follow these adjustments. Go on the nudge position, relative align, and first bring the arm stand 12 pixels towards us. So click on positive 8, then positive 3, and positive 1. Then we need to nudge it to the right by 6 pixels. So, go in the nudge position and press X positive 3 twice. Then, we have to bring it down by 3 pixels. So, all you have to do is go in the nudge and press negative 3 on the Y axis here once and it should be in the correct position. So, if you look at the back, the tip of the stick aligns to the corner of the diamond right there. So once you're sure that the position is correct, which you can also check with F5 mode, then make the stand invisible and lock your armor stand. Alright, now let's work on the second pedal. Remember to set the armor stand with the same settings that I mentioned earlier. So first, Let's bring the arm up by 90 degrees again. Now, we have to rotate it to 36 degrees plus 72. 36 plus 72 is 108 degrees. Therefore, we go on the pose adjust, click on negative C twice, which will make 90 degrees. Then, we can go 15 degrees more and that will make 105 degrees. Now all you have to do from here is set the rotation to 1 and click negative C three more times which will bring it up to a total of 108 degrees. Then remember after you have just adjusted every single pedal to the correct angle of rotation, raise the arm by an additional 5 degrees. Now we must put the second pedal in the correct position. First, move the arm stand 12 pixels towards you, as you did with the previous pedal. And to do that, go on the nudge. First press on positive 8, then 3, then 1. And that makes 12 pixels. Now we have to move this to the right by 7 pixels. So go on the nudge, relative align. You can just click on positive 8. Then bring it back by 1 pixel, and that makes 7 pixels to the right. Then we need to bring it up by 2 pixels, and you can do that by clicking on positive 3 for Y, and then bring it down again with negative 1, and it's in the right place now. Double check with F5 mode, then once you're sure it's in the right position, set it to invisible, and lock your armor stand. Okay, two down, three to go. For the third pedal, it's super easy. All you need to do is flip the pedal from an upwards pointing position to a downwards pointing position. And to do that, you just have to rotate the diamond with any direction by 180 degrees. So, just go on the rotation, make sure that's set to 45 degrees, then Using either the positive or the negative C, press it four times. Two, three, and four. And there you go. So easy. And then remember, every time you have adjusted the pedals to the correct angle of rotation, make sure to raise the arm up by five degrees. Now let's move the pedal to its position. First, Bring the armor stand 12 pixels towards you. So, press positive 8, positive 3, and positive 1. Then, we have to move it to the right by 2 pixels. So, press positive 3x, then 
move it back by one pixel and you have moved it over by two pixels. Then we need to raise it up by five pixels. So click on positive eight for Y. So now it's eight pixels up, then subtract it by three and it's exactly five pixels up. And there you have it, the petals in the correct position. Double check with F5 mode and once you're sure it's in the correct position, set it to invisible and lock your armor stand. Next, the fourth petal is an exact mirror of the second petal and therefore you have to raise it in the opposite direction by 108 degrees. So first, make sure your rotation is set to 45 degrees. This time, instead of pressing negative C, we have to press positive C. So press it twice to bring it to 90 degrees. Then set it to 15. Press it once again to bring it to 105 degrees. Then set it to 1 degree and press it 3 more times. 2 and 3. And there you have it, 108 degrees. Don't forget to raise the arm an additional 5 degrees once you're done with the adjustment. Now, to bring the fourth petal into position, bring the armor stand 12 pixels towards you. 3 and 1. So now that's 12 pixels. Then we need to move it 2 pixels to the left this time. So, nudge it by 3 pixels to the X direction, then back by 1, and then nudge it up by 1 pixel. And it's in position. Double check with F5 to make sure it's in the correct place. Then, set your armor stand to invisible and lock your armor stand. Alright, we're almost finished with this flower. Now time for the fifth petal. This one is a little bit special, so pay close attention to the adjustments. As with the first petal, we have to adjust it to 36 degrees, but this time rotating clockwise. So, go under rotation, make sure it's set to 45. Press on positive C once, so now it's 45 degrees. Then, now we would take away 10 degrees from it, so negative C twice, so now it's 35 degrees. And then add one more degree to it to make it 36 degrees. Then, remember to raise the arm up by 5 degrees. Alright, now nudge the armor stand towards you by 12 pixels. 8, 3, and one. Then nudge the armor stand down by four pixels. So you can click on negative three for Y and negative one to make it exactly four pixels. Now this is the problem with this fifth pedal because what happens is it is actually slightly out of place no matter how you nudge it around. So if you don't correct the adjustment for the fifth pedal it will look a little bit out of place like this. However, there's a solution to this problem in which we can make the pedal look a little bit more in place. Okay, so here's the secret adjustment. Go under rotation, set it to 5 degrees first. Then rotate the armor stand itself using this by 10 degrees. So click on this twice. One and two. Okay, now adjust the y-axis by 10 degrees to the negative direction. So it's going to bring the arm this way to the left. One and two. Okay, so now it's almost in the correct position. Go to rotation, click on one degree, and then lower the arm by one degree. And there. Double check with F5 to see that it's more or less in the correct position. 
and then make sure it's invisible and lock your armor stand. Okay, and now for the final component of this diamond flower, we have to place the seed part in the middle. And for that, we'll use the golden nugget. Now, as with all the other armor stands, we want to raise the arm horizontally by 90 degrees. Then, for this seat, we want to rotate it uh, clockwise by 30 degrees. So, go on the pose adjust, click on positive C for 45 degrees, then set it to 15, and then bring it back by 15 degrees. So now, it's 30 degrees. For this armor stand, we will be making a very special adjustment to put it in the right position. So stand on this block that is diagonal to this armor stand like this. Then align yourself to the very corner of the block. Then go under relative exact and click on positive 1 for the x axis. Okay. Now, move the armor stand towards you by 11 pixels. So go on the nudge, go on the relative align, press on positive 8 and positive 3. So that's exactly 11 pixels. Then, move it to the right by 1 pixel. So positive 1 for X. And then, move it down by 2 pixels. So, press on negative 3 for Y and positive 1. Let's turn the armor stand invisible first. And now we can see the magic. So the seed, the yellow part of the flower, is actually embedded in the flower. Okay, so now that you're sure it's in the correct position, lock your armor stand, and the diamond flower is done. Then all you have to do is just remove the temporary blocks and it's all good! I hope you enjoyed this diamond flower tutorial. Just follow the instructions and you should be able to create this diamond flower easily. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments as well as give suggestions as to what small creation you would like me to teach you how to do next time. Until the next video, bye! Drop it.